Hi everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a vlog style um, decluttering, cleaning out my drawers type of video. I do this like once a year just to see if there's anything that I want to donate and just to freshen up my drawers. Um, so I hope that you enjoy this type of video. Um, I love cleaning and organizing videos so I'm just going to put my camera on a tripod and uh, show you how I go about the process of cleaning my drawers out. I just thought I'd show you how I'm setting this up. I've got this cool little um, attachment that came from off of my selfie stick and I attached it to this thing which um, you can attach a camera to or whatever um, and the tripod and then I'm going to show you um, how I clean out my drawer so I just thought I would show you that in case you're wondering how I'm attaching my phone to my tripod so so here is my drawer it's not that disorganized because um, I like to keep things in their place um, so I know where to find everything but I'm just gonna take everything out and clean inside of the drawer and then um, see what I doubt there's gonna be anything I'm getting rid of but um, just so you see the process that I go through. And I won't show you these too much, but I've got some top secret notes that have like video ideas for um, my comedy channel, so. <laughs> okay, so that's everything out of there, and now I will just wipe it out. Well, I also have these cool um, drawer liners. They're not like that annoying sticky contact paper that like you know, is impossible to put down um, and it's super frustrating. So this stuff is great because it's nice and thick and rubbery. Things don't um, slide around as much and you can literally just take it out. And um, I wish I had used this all along when I got these nightstands because um, they got kind of damaged from like um, moisturizers and stuff that I had kept in here. But um, those are great just to make your drawer look nice and clean. Oh, and by the way, this is just a microfiber cloth that I slightly dampened with some water. Now I'm just going to clean out these things. I'm going to wipe these clean and put them back and I'll show you how I organize everything. Okay, so the only thing I think I'm not going to keep in here are these um, earplugs. I would use these like to vacuum or if there's like some really loud noises when I'm sleeping, um, but usually I sleep okay. I might just put these somewhere else like because I don't reach for them anymore, but I will keep them just in case I ever need earplugs. Um, for a plane trip or something. Everything else is staying. Um, I have this bag here that's got just like um, things that I use quite frequently like scissors and then I've got um, non-sharp scissors for clothing. Um, I've got sharper scissors which sometimes can come in handy. I've got, <laughs> this is a kind of gross item. This is like a pimple extractor. Um, I sanitize it, of course, after each use, but this is a cool little thing if you want to, you know, see what's in your pores. <laughs> um, a little mirror. I like this thing. Um, it's kind of like a brush mirror in one, so that's always handy. And I've got, I could actually, I actually might be able to get rid of, I kind of keep these backup um, tweezers just in case I lose these ones, but I love the tweezer man tweezers. They're just the sharpest and they work the best on my eyebrows. Um, I keep a little safety pin just in case I need one, but these I might get rid of because, well, 
they actually do come in handy sometimes. You can kind of use them as like a tool to get something out of something or, um, I don't know, like, I don't think that they're sharp enough anymore for removing or plucking hairs, but I think I will just keep them because that way I don't have to ruin my nice ones when I need to get something out of something. <laughs> and these are my headphones. Um, that I wear when I'm watching a video or something and my boyfriend's doing something so he doesn't, you know, have to hear me watching YouTube videos or whatever. And then I've just got my clips. I've got my big butterfly clip and then two smaller ones, which I actually do not reach for these that often. So I'm going to just store these away where I keep my backup hair supplies so I won't keep these in here. And I've got my favorite brushes. This is the Tangle Teaser and this is the Wet Brush. I love those. And then I have a comb and two hair ties for when I put my hair in a bun when I'm just doing stuff around the house. And I don't want my hair all over my, my face and everything. And then I have my favorite lip butters, um, a hand sanitizer, my favorite nail like cuticle oil and a pen and my SPF lip balm and this Too Faced lip injection um, lip gloss which um, I use like once a day just to like keep my lips plump. I don't know. Um, I'm just basically using it up. I don't think I would probably purchase it again because I don't really see anything, any type of extraordinary results but I going to use it until it's gone. Then I have um, Vicks VapoRub. This comes in handy um, when I have like a stuffy nose or something. It's it's usually for coughs, um, which it would probably work good for, but um, I like to keep it all year round uh, in my bedside table just in case I get a stuffy nose and I rub it on my neck and it works great. So I like to have that in there. Then I have my glasses that I where to watch movies and TV with, so gotta have those. And then I have um, a notepad. This is what I like to write um, grocery lists and shopping lists on, so if I run out of something and I think of something, I can just like, you know, jot it down in there. And then I have a um, little bookmark and then my Marie from the Aristocats um, checkbook. Which I love. And then I've got an extra coaster just in case. Um, and this thing I love. This is my little phone stand um, for when I'm watching YouTube videos and multitasking. Like I'll do my nails and watch a YouTube video or do my makeup. It's so much better having this rather than like um, having your phone like leaning against something and then falling constantly. And then I have some Cetaphil. Um, this is just a basic um, fragrance-free moisturizer that I use from time to time on my hands if I don't want to have a scented hand moisturizer like this, which I love. I'm actually going to put this on right now because I'm getting a bit hot. <laughs> and um, so I like to keep my eye cream and my moisturizers um, in my bedside table just because I like to do that stuff while I'm relaxed and sitting down, I'll also bring my body cream from my vanity area over and just do everything um, sitting on the bed because it's just more comfortable. So um, yeah, this is like basically all my essentials. I hope that this was helpful and gave you an idea of what to put in your bedside table. When everything has a place, you really um, don't get disorganized and you always I can always find something, like I know where everything is, so um, yeah, so that is drawer number one done. So I'm probably not going to show you the cleaning process of each drawer like I did the first one. That one was just so you see how I clean everything out. I think I will just do like a before right now and then I will clean everything out and show you the after of each drawer. So this is my Alex 9. Um, set that I've got my body care on and everything. So this is the first drawer. There we go. That's a better angle. So this is like my jewelry slash 
glasses <laughs> drawer as you can see and second drawer i just have some extra things um i'm actually getting kind of low on gum i usually like to get a big pack of those um then i've got more like random things like batteries extra checks um here i keep like just random like toe separators uh extra phone protector i've got my um my curling irons in here and this store is actually my nail polish um which i won't be showing me declutter in this video that's going to be a separate video just because that's going to be <laughs> pretty long i'm guessing i have quite a bit of nail polish and then this drawer um i've got brushes <laughs> As you can see, I've got a bit too many brushes, more brushes than uh, one person needs. Then I've got filming stuff in here, um, extra cord things. Um, I think these have like cords and stuff in them. Um, and then this drawer has some random like makeup bags and one of these cool head massagers. Um, so yeah, that is the before. So here is my vanity, as you can see. It's got all my makeup essentials. I recently did a makeup declutter video, so I will link that below. But, um, and I also already did this drawer here, so I will not be um, going through this drawer in this video. But I do have a drawer here where I just keep some kind of like office type essentials. I've got like my mouse pad and mouse and just random things that I might need. Yeah, I keep my mouse and mouse pad in here because this kind of doubles as a desk and a vanity. So um, when I'm editing a video or something, I'll use my mouse and then put it back in there. And then, let's see. I have these two drawers. Um, this drawer has like all my hair products, my styling products and then I've got like baby wipes to use to um, clean up my makeup area and my makeup when I'm done putting my makeup on and then down here I've got just a blow dryer and a straight iron because yeah pretty <laughs> pretty simple so that's that and I won't be showing you inside my boyfriend's drawers but his drawers are very organized as well um, but I just um, figured you wouldn't <laughs> want to see what's in his drawers. Um, this is my underwear and sock drawer and as you can see it's pretty organized already but I do have some things I can probably um, get rid of. So that's the before and then this is my um, kind of like sleepwear, fitness wear, bikini drawer. <laughs> um, so that's what that looks like before. Okay, so here are my Alex 9 drawers and the first one, um, I didn't really get rid of much. I just cleaned it out and um, I got rid of some jewelry that I no longer wear. Um, and that's basically it. I just have some eye masks for traveling and one to put in the fridge when my eyes feel tired. And then this one, I have just extra things um, that I keep in here like gum and tissues. I have this, um, my favorite body mist, which is the Ombre Vanille by Laura Mercier. I absolutely love that. Um, I have this one up here that I'm almost done with, so I will put that there when I'm done with the other one. And, um, and this drawer just has some extras of things, my favorite little um, LED tea lights, and these are the batteries for them. And then I've just got some checks for my boyfriend and I. And um, that's basically it. This is also like a, like a fabric, kind of to remove like pilling from clothing, so that's kind of cool. Um, and a flashlight. And then this store is pretty empty. <laughs> I um, I got rid of this thing. I'm gonna give away. These are like yoga toes. Um, I guess they're supposed to like 
stretch your toes out when you wear uncomfortable shoes or whatever but i just never ever <laughs> use them and i actually feel like they're kind of uncomfortable um so i'm getting rid of those and that's pretty much it i think um i just rearranged some things i think i can't remember but i think that i had this in there or something i don't know but like I said, this is mainly just I wanted to clean the drawers out and um, get rid of anything that I'm not using anymore so I have some room for something else if I ever need it. And then this drawer is my curling irons. Um, I actually am getting rid of one of them because I'm getting rid of this one because um, it's just it's thinner than this one and they basically do the same thing and I just never ever feel like doing my hair <laughs> with such tiny curls. I guess it's better for shorter hair, so I will be donating that. And then um, these are just like, this is to put my straight iron in when it's, um, when I'm traveling with it. And then this thing is cool. It goes over my Conair one. Um, this is like a cord, electrical cord protector. I don't really know if I'm ever going to use it, but maybe for traveling it's good to use if I put something, if I put it away and it's still kind of warm, then maybe that'll come in handy. And then again, this is my nail polish drawer, which I'm going to do a separate declutter video of, um, so I won't be doing that in this video, that would take way too long. This is my brush drawer, um, before there were a lot more brushes, so, um, I've definitely decided to get rid of, not that they're bad or anything, but I had gotten this to keep in my purse because I thought it was going to be smaller than this, but it really isn't that small. <laughs> um, so I've decided to just um, donate it or whatever because it's just, it's pretty heavy. I mean, even compared to the original size of the Tangle Teaser, this is lighter weight than this one, and I don't know, it's just actually more bulky um, than I thought it would have been, so I'm getting rid of that, and this other brush that I bought, I think I got this before I got the Tangle Teaser, and it works okay, but I just like the Tangle Teaser and the wet brush better. Those are my two favorite brushes. I'm also getting rid of this paddle brush just because I feel like it kind of um, rips my hair when I use it, so um, I'd rather just use my round brushes or, you know, my fingers when I'm drying my hair because uh, I just feel like this doesn't really make much of a difference anyway, so that's that. And I had gotten this, it's the Tangle Teaser Wet Brush, but I just find that I don't really need to brush my hair in the shower because it tends to um, just get tangled up by the time I get out and I have to brush it anyway. So, but this is a cool thing if you like to comb your or brush your hair in the shower with like conditioner on. Um, it just didn't really help my hair that much. So I think that's it for what I got rid of in this drawer. And then down here I just have my technology type things. Um, I've got my external hard drive. Um, it's not in here right now because I'm currently editing a video. And then little tripods, a selfie stick, um, and my old camera. I have a portable charger in here. And I've got my iPod in here and just some cords that go with that camera. And then this last drawer, I just keep some extra makeup bags for traveling. I've got some shoe inserts or insoles, um, some floor protectors, a random head massager that I like to use sometimes when I have a headache. Um, it's also just nice and relaxing and tingly. Um, and I'm deciding to get rid of these back scratchers because we just really never use them. Um, they're kind of bulky and everything, so... I'll be getting rid of that and I also had like an extra phone protector um, that I'm getting rid of just because it's all scratched. You can't totally see that on here but I don't use it. It's not as protective as my current one. 
So I'm getting rid of that. And is that it? Oh yeah, I may or may not be getting rid of this little guy here because I just never use it. My boyfriend's like a huge chess playing fanatic and it's really cool. It's magnetic, um, but I just don't use it. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna part with this yet. Uh, I'm still thinking about it, but it's not very bulky anyway if I do decide to keep it, so I think that that's it for the Alex 9 drawers. Okay, so for my desk drawer, I'm going to get rid of these binoculars from McDonald's because uh, they just don't work and um, some cards that I never use. I'm just gonna put this battery where the batteries are kept. And then I've got some wood glue, I think from a, from some type of furniture um, that came along with it in the putting together furniture kit, whatever you call it. So I'm gonna put that somewhere else in the house. So this drawer um, after isn't much different. It's just, you know, clean and <laughs> um, I've got like, these cool um, furniture sharpies for like things like this that I probably need to touch up um, the paint or whatever and then white out highlighters a little eraser thing a bunch of these things I, I kept all of these because they're all different sizes and everything so I just thought you know if I ever need to take apart furniture and put it back together then I have that um, these are some good binoculars, um, just some paper clips, you know, things like that. Um, in here I've got my like birth certificate and passport and the password for internet is there. So just some important things to keep handy. And this one is basically the same. I just cleaned it out. It's got all my favorite hair products in it. So I like using Bath and Body Works jars to keep things in because like hair oil can tend to be a little messy and I don't want it to run the drawer. So there's that. And this drawer is basically just my hair dryer and hair straightener. So pretty simple. Okay, so now for my underwear drawer, I'm not going to show you what I got rid of because that would be weird. But um, as you can see, I basically have everything folded in the Conmary way. <laughs> um, so you can basically see everything except for my gloves. Um, I just have three pairs, so I just put them, I stacked them like that. Um, this back here is actually just to keep like moths and um, silverfish away, hopefully. Um, but I've got like my wintry type, like, um, tights and socks and these are like little high heel socks. <laughs> They're pretty funny. Um, very tiny, but just if I ever wear my heels, then I won't have my feet slipping around in them. I've got a beanie, my gloves, some warm cozy socks. I've got like sporty um, no-show socks here and then regular socks and wintry Christmas socks and then my underwear and bras so that's just very nice and fresh and then my my um, basically like pajama drawer slash fitness top drawer slash bikini drawer I've got all my bikinis here I've got tank tops that I wear um, to sleep in. I've got um, like v-necks that I work out in, my pajama shorts and pajama bottoms. So not a drastic difference, but I like it. It's nice and clean and I just got rid of a few things, but that is pretty much it.